Hello and welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. I am your favorite professor, Paul Markle. And uh, if you like this shirt, Armed and Dangerous, you can go to studentofthegun.com and you can order them direct from our affiliate, Caruso. That's Caruso at studentofthegun.com. They're one of our affiliates. We really like them and we appreciate them and I like this shirt. All right, today's topic, uh, we're back on the ammo shortage thing, but we've got more solutions for you. Rather than talk about problems, a lot of people like to talk about problems. They like to complain. What we want to do for you is we want to give you solutions. So what is a solution to, one, to the ammo shortage problem or the I can't get ammo problem? Well, I think a lot of you know these guys, and you may be one of them. There are folks that have gone out and bought ammunition for guns they don't even own. You know, they go into the store and they're like, hmm, that's a pretty good deal on whatever, X. And they pick it up. They don't even have a gun for that, but they think, oh, well, I better get it. People are buying ammunition today and using it like currency, or they're saving it like currency. Uh, it's kind of akin to how people were buying gold back in you know 2008 and 2009, and, and they still continue to, though, but it's really expensive. People are buying ammo to use as currency. Now, there is ammunition out there on the planet. We didn't put it all in a shuttle and launch it off to Mars or something. It's there. But it's in people's houses, it's in their storage sheds, it's in, you know, their uh, rec rooms or whatever, in their safe, it's locked up. So there's ammo out there. And what I would suggest to you guys is we're going to come, I'm going to give you an idea here. You can use it if you like, if you don't, rock on. Ammo Swap Saturdays. Ammo Swap Saturdays. If you are a member of a gun club or a local range or you know a private range or whatever, where shooting people all gather together and, and do their shooting and talking and drinking coffee and all that stuff and uh, propose to your president, vice president, treasurer, or whatever, that you institute Ammo Swap Saturdays. You say, well, we're going to sell it? No, no, it's a swap meet, dude. It's just like the old auto trader swap meets. Remember at the drive-in, if you're old enough to <laughs> remember drive-in movie theaters, they used to have on Saturdays when there's no movies playing in the daytime, they would have swap meets or at the local flea market or whatever. And there's no cash exchange. You just show up with your ammo, say, you've got a 44 Magnum pistol and you don't have any ammo for it, but you have a whole brick or box load of 45 ACP. All right, you go to the ammo swap meet and the guy over here at that table's got a whole bunch of 44 and he'd like some 45. Or maybe he'd like some of your 22 LR or 308 or you name it. It's do the barter system, dudes. Go out there, say, I'll tell you what, I'll trade you Xboxes of nine mil for Xboxes of 40. Fill in the blanks there. So ammo swap Saturdays. I think it's an idea whose time to come. It's so ridiculously slim, simple that I'm almost embarrassed that we didn't come up with it earlier. But uh, I would suggest that. And it's uh, really not all that difficult. Just bring the stuff out and trade it with your buddies. Uh, no money needs to change hands. You don't need a, you know, a license or a business license. Just hey, it's dudes trading ammo. Do it now. While I've got your attention, I want to talk about one more thing, uh, one more topic that the ammunition shortage uh, is affecting, and the ammunition shortage is starting to affect the uh, local youth clubs. Your like, for instance, your 4-H shooting sports program. Uh, the 4-H shooting sports program and the Boy Scouts and, and the NRA youth programs and so forth, generally they don't stockpile ammunition. Uh, when it's time for the monthly club meeting, you know, one of the, the adult volunteers will drive by Walmart and pick up a thousand rounds of 22 so that the kids can shoot 22 rifles that day. Well, you can't really do that anymore. Uh, you can't just that Saturday morning stop by Walmart and pick up a thousand rounds of 22. So some of the youth programs are being negatively affected by an inability to get uh, ammunition, specifically uh, 22 long rifle ammunition. If you're one of those guys that's sitting on a stash of 10,000 rounds of 22 LR, and you know who you are, what I would suggest if you're feeling charitable uh, is find out if there is a local 4-H shooting sports club in your area. And if there is, this might be a good way to introduce yourself to them. Say, hey, my name's Bob. You know, I live here in the county. I know about your program, and I would like to donate a 
1,000 rounds of 22 to your program. And I'll guarantee you, I've been working with 4 Shooting Sports for over 12, 13 years now. And I guarantee you, if you donate 22 LR, it will be used very wisely, and those kids will get a lot out of it. Am I telling you to give them your whole stash? No, I'm not. But if you're sitting on 5, 10,000 rounds of 22 LR, you could probably afford to donate a little bit to a youth program such as the 4-H shooting sports. So that's a good idea, and, and I think it's an idea that's time has come. So, if you get nothing else from this, what are we going to do? We're going to start doing ammo swap Saturdays. And if you guys out there, hey, if you're following us on Facebook or Twitter or what have you, you know, fantastic. And if you set up an ammo swap Saturday, I want to know about it. Get on Student of the Gun Facebook and post a message. Say, hey, in Provo, Utah or Bloomington, Indiana or whatever, we're doing Ammo Swap Saturdays at our club and I really want to hear about it. So, but for all things Student of the Gun, where are you going to go? You're going to go to studentofthegun.com. Hey, my studio engineer uh, waved at me. He's like, you almost forgot the book. Okay. Recommended reading for this homeroom is... The Art of Modern Gunfighting, Volume 1 by Scott Reitz. Scotty Reitz is a retired LAPD SWAT member. Uh, I've trained with him. He's a good dude. If you're out in the People's Republic of California and you're looking for training, I would recommend that you take one of his courses. But this book here, The Art of Modern Gunfighting, you can get it on Amazon. We'll put the link up for you. It is a very, very worthwhile read, not just for beginners, but for people who've been in the game for a while as well. So pick it up, The, Mo the Art of Modern Gunfighting by Scott Reitz.